Hey guys, I have seen multiple posts on Reddit with questions about some cart mechanics in Gwent. A lot of people think they have found a bug, but actually these are just mechanics that are not very simple. Gwent can be sometimes a complicated game and understanding some of the mechanics can result in you winning more games. I will not explain to you every single mechanic that is in the game, but I will try to cover most in my opinion, confusing and complicated ones. If you like the video, please consider dropping a sub. If not, just have fun and play Gwent. Okay, let's go. Let's look at the card deck. We can notice two things on cards. First one is ability or effect, and second is status. Abilities are text explaining what this specific card will do, like deploy or if something happens, then something. I will focus on four hardest ones that are a bit similar and work often together. Create, spawn, play and sound. Oh boy, even I had to think about it for a while preparing this video just to have it right. These four are probably the most complicated. Let's start with play. When you play your card, you use it as if you play it from your hand. This means all abilities and effects on the card will trigger. Easy? Sure. Now spawn. Spawn adds a card to the game. Completely new card that did not start in any of two players' decks. This card is completely new. First is create. Create lets you add a new card to the game, similar to the spawn, but you have a, a chance to choose from three options. So how is it different than spawn apart from choose three options? Well, there is one more important thing written, I think, on all create cards. Word play. So in short, you are adding a new card to the game and play. So for example, trigger, trigger the deploy ability. The last word is summon. Summon means that cards appear on the board based on the certain condition from one player's deck, hand or graveyard. This card is not getting a play option and it is not added to the game unless specified on the card deck. Let's look at some examples to make, you, to make it easier. Seri is probably the, the best example for spawn and summon. In whatever lane you put her, she will add a new card to the game. If you go for the shield maiden option and trigger her ability, copies from your deck, that's the written condition, will be summoned. From your deck. If you go for a range draw and trigger Queen's Guard condition, new new card will be added to the game and it will appear on the right of the card every time you do the certain ability. Another good example of spawn is a new leader, Imposter, for new card. As you can see, it spawns a copy of the chosen enemy unit. It is a new card added to the game, but it just spawns. There is no word play in it. It will just appear on the board, boosted by two, on the opposite, opposite row. Potential deploy effect will not trigger. This is very important to understand. Last example, Resurrection from Skelliger. Two common uh, cards in many decks are Sigurdi the Rise and Freya's Blessing. What is the difference? With Freya's Blessing, you play a bronze Skelliger card, which means abilities will trigger, because we are playing the card. Using Sigurdi the Rise summons a Skelliger unit into an ally draw, which means it just appears on the board on the far right of the chosen row. There are two more important things that needs to be said about these abilities. When you play a card, you can put it wherever you want. If you summon or spawn a card, it is coming on the board based on its condition or to the far right of the chosen row. If you have exactly play on it, you can put it wherever. Second thing is, card abilities can be locked. All abilities, like end of the turn or 
X condition happen both then as a trap can be locked. Okay, we have just talked about how it is written on the cards. Another thing that can happen with the cards are stat statuses. Statuses can start on the card, but can also be given or taken from the card. Currently available statuses are Bleed, Vitality, Shield, Poison, Block, Defender, Resilience, Doom, and Immunity. All of these statuses can be purified, but cannot be locked. If you seize, summon, spawn a unit with a status, it will still be active. Statuses do not require you to play a card, they are just there. Let's go back to our example from the previous part. If you use the imposter on enemy's defender, it will still protect the opponent's role, despite of block, but also you will get a defender for yourself. Why I'm talking about this? Because many people do not realize that Purify can be used for more than just to clear defender. You can clear the bleed from your own unit, you can clear lock, you can even clear enemy vitality. The last topic I want to cover regarding the effects on the card is their order. Card effects trigger from top left of your board to the right bottom. Let's look at a few examples. First one is interaction of Temerian Drummer and Anna Renegade. If you put them like on the picture, you will get three points, despite Anna not being boosted at first. Why? Temerian Drummer will buff Anna and then Anna will see that she, she is boosted and she will boost target on both sides. Second example. Your opponent is playing Cow from Rock Tosser next to your priest. The priest ability will trigger first, so the cow will die before it can poison adjacent units. Last example, you play two Dryad Matros on the same row next to each other. Both will jump from left to right because when the ability triggers, each of them won't be the rightmost of the row. It is worth mentioning that abilities like this will only trigger when condition is being met. So for example, if at the end of the turn there is only one Matron and it is on the far right, the effect won't work. Okay guys, I hope it might help you a little bit. This is just a short guy with some basic elements worth knowing if you plan to play well. There are a lot more topics to be covered, but the most important two long in bread lessons from this video are First of all, read cards to check their condition. Remember, everything is written on the card. Second thing, you can lock effects and purify statuses. And there are more than just one status. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoy it, see you next time.